Hello, welcome to my channel. Today we are thrifting at Goodwill and I am taking you along with me. It's been quite a while since I've been to this Goodwill, at least a month. So I was excited to be here. They had lots new in store, including all of these Christmas goodies. I had my daughter Josie with me on this day, but I don't remember if I took any footage of her, so we'll see. I was interested in this picture because I'm really needing one, but I think I want one with a top on it. Um, and I really liked this little, I'm gonna call it a candle plate. Um, I thought it was wood, but it is was in fact stone. And look at that, just a random transferware saucer. <laughs> just sitting here with the Christmas dishes. These glasses up here caught my eye because of the gold leaf eagle. It's hard to see because of the lighting. This Goodwill's lighting is not great, but this is my favorite Goodwill. <laughs> they were $1.99 a piece and they had all like the Americana, the Li Liberty Bell, the Eagles, that kind of thing on them. And I kind of dig that. This was a super exciting find for me, brown transfer wear. I didn't bring these home, you guys. They were $9, which I thought was a steep price, but now I'm kind of regretting it and I hope they're there the next time I go. <laughs> if I had gone on a Wednesday, I would have gotten a discount and then I definitely would have scooped them up. So maybe I will go next Wednesday. So I have been pretty lucky lately with finding ironstone. Um, this was blue transfer wear ironstone. You guys, <laughs> I'm knee deep in ironstone and I'm not coming away with any of it. Um, well, not any of it. You'll have to wait to see to the end. But check this out. Courier and Ives blue transfer wear plates. One of them is marked USA, the other one, um, is not marked at all so but you could tell that you know they were they were identical and you know came in a pair so I thought that was really cool and look three bowls that match those brown transfer wear plates holy moly I'm rolling in it this piece here I was enamored with I thought it was gorgeous and would look awesome with a candle in it with a little bit of filler I thought it would be so pretty all year round, really. And I'm not sure if this piece was ironstone, but it felt like it. And I'm pretty sure my mom had those dishes right there as I was growing up. They were very familiar to me. Check it out. There's some cobalt apothecary jars in here and not too long ago I was looking for a cobalt bottle, a decorative bottle of some sort for my mom for her mouthwash, uh, but she's found one so I don't need to pick this one up. But look how stunning these are. This is one of the apothecary jars and then the other one was right there beside it. I'm in the vase aisle now. 
Look, this Goodwill has this type of vase over here for $3.99. The other Goodwill that I've been shopping at lately has it in the glass case. <laughs> oh, goodness. What's that? Oh, that's different. $4.99. No? Are you looking at the clothing? Anything good over here? Fake wood. <laughs> What's this? I like this little basket. There's a cool picnic basket up here. It's in bad shape though. Oh, that's kind of cool. Neat basket. Okay, how much is it? $3.99. That's cool. There's a laundry basket up there too. I'm gonna check that out. Okay, this basket is super cool. It has handles. It is has a little bit of damage right there. And it is $6.99, which I don't think that is bad at all. That's neat. Lampshade for two ninety nine. Check out these mirrors. Are they? $14.99 each. Those are cool. Could you imagine those on both sides of a his and her sink? <gasps> they are very cool. $9.99. Oh, that's a Jones, New York bag. That's really nice, though. Oh, weird. This piece of hall pottery, the gravy boat, oh my goodness, somebody is going to be so excited to find that. It is so pretty. 
I cannot believe the amount of ironstone I am finding today. Check out this sh uh, sugar dish. It is Japanese and it's Japanese ironstone. I think it's called Independence Ironstone and it's gorgeous. And then black transferware? What? I never find black transferware. Look at how pretty that is. That is so pretty. No markings. Oh my goodness, that's lovely. Here is another piece of that other set. What is it called? Traditional? Let's see. Um, a Morist? For $2.99. Isn't that beautiful? Blue transfer wear. Are there any watermelon collectors out there? <laughs> no way. Okay, that's coming home with me. Do you guys see what I see? <laughs> I am in the crafting aisle. Got some all kinds of stamps in here. All kinds of stamps, holy moly. I like to look for uh, vintage ribbons and laces and, you know, that kind of thing. What is this? It looks like one of those monkey wood bowls. There's some vintage wallpaper. That looks like straight out of the 80s. <laughs> I hope you are enjoying my video so far. If you are, I hope you consider subscribing and giving me a thumbs up. Pretty much the only thing I like now is now this. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, cool. I wish there were four of them. $2.99. There's only three. Do you see what they are? They're like Christmas instruments. The lighting in here is so bad. Napkin ring holders.
This is what caught my interest though. Is that an ashtray or is it made for melting something? I'm pouring it out. I don't oh, you guys, look what I just found. This goes in that other bag. <laughs> That's cool. This is a really cool set. Baby Jesus. $4.99. Are they $4.99 each? $5.99. And $5.99. They're just made in China, but those are really nice. Okay, this up here could be such a fun makeover piece, but it's $15. That piece is cool. Um, this is the one I'm talking Oh, it has this on it. Bummer. It is $8.99. Okay, this piece is super cool. It's definitely missing the other attachment. And it's $5.99, but that is very heavy steel or metal of some sort. I'm not really a figurine kind of person, but I do like to look at them for you guys. Oh, these are kind of cute. It's kissing angels with no price tag. Some more kissing angels. Why are angels always kissing? That's what I want to know. <laughs> oh, well, now that's a cool bottle. Oh, very heavy. It has grapes on it. Grapes are not my thing, but I really like the lattice work. Oh, that's like paper mache. I thought that was going to be metal. <laughs> oh, 
<laughs> That's cute. <laughs> Uh, fun fact, my, <laughs> I have a family member that is a member of the IRS, works for the IRS. See, you gotta keep looking, everybody. Ironstone pitcher. Very cool. Two thousand eight Barbie. This is kind of cool. I don't know, it's just an FTV base, but that could be cool to use an organization of some sort. Oh, this is so cool. Two ninety nine. This piece right here was just screaming for a Christmas makeover. How cool is that? Love that there's nothing wrong with it, nothing on it. It could use a new rope, but the fact that there isn't one there means you could use anything you wanted. I haven't had much luck lately with linens and blankets and textiles, but I keep looking. These I thought were really cool, very vibrant. Uh, so that was fun to find these guys. did bring a few things home with me today. I went ahead and picked up both of the Courier and Ives Blue Transfer Wear Ironstone that I found. It is marked USA. At least one of them is. Uh, maybe not that one. Uh, this one. Yeah, right there. USA. And I did grab both of these. Uh, I just think they're so beautiful. I have not seen anything like them. And I just, I'm so excited to have found them. I think they will be perfect for winter time. They're not specifically Christmas. So I could use these before, I could use these through the Christmas season or after Christmas as well. Um, I just think they're beautiful. So I cannot wait to use those in my decor. 
Then I also did pick up this cute ironstone pitcher. It was $1.99. Um, I want to see what the maker is. I'm going to take this off and I'll be right back. Okay, so the maker is Independence Ironstone. I don't know if that's going to... <laughs> Let's see. All right. So the maker is Independence Ironstone and it's J um, J Japanese. So that's really cool. I really, really love the style of this. Let's see if I can get it to focus on this. There we go. Um, I think it is just beautiful and it will go with my heritage dishes beautifully as well. So I was really excited to find this. And next I bought, went ahead and I picked up the uh, salt cellars. It was $2.99 and I don't own a single salt cellar. Um, I think they are so cool. Uh, and I was really excited to find these. It's a set of six. Uh, so I thought that was really, really fun. It was fun to find those. So that is what I bought at the thrift store today at my Goodwill trip. Um, we had fun thrifting today. It was the first time I've been to this thrift store, this Goodwill, in a long time. So that was a lot of fun to go there. Um, so thank you guys so much for watching. I will check you later. Bye-bye.